What is up guys, AJ here, and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to run multiple desktops on Windows 10. So, why would you wanna have multiple desktops on Windows 10? For me, I have lots of programs open at once. So, when I can drop a couple of programs onto a second desktop, they're out of the way, they're still running in the background, but it just helps me focus because I don't see them. But whatever your reason, I'm sure you're gonna find these tips really, really helpful. Cool, so with that being said, Let's get into it. So there's a couple of different ways to opening a second, third, fourth desktop, or however many you want. The first way I'm gonna show you is if you have a touch screen Windows 10 device. So for example, I've got a Surface Book here, and if I swipe in from the left hand side, you see that my task view opens, and this shows me all the programs that are currently running, as well as earlier today what I've searched on the internet, and at the top left hand corner here, you can see that it says New Desktop. If I select the option of New Desktop, you see a second desktop appears in the top ribbon. I can add another one, and another one, and another one. I've actually tested how many desktops you can open at once. I got up to 64 before I realized that, hey, Windows can hold a lot of virtual desktops. Then I sort of shut it down. I didn't want to have to manually close more than 64 virtual desktops. So what I can do here is jump to my task view again on desktop one and see all the programs that I have open. If I didn't need, for example, settings, on desktop one, but I didn't want to close it, I can grab it by holding my finger on there for a second, dragging it over to desktop two or three or four or wherever I want to put it, and I'm just going to drop it here on desktop two. Exact same thing for the Microsoft Store. I'm going to grab it, I'm going to hold my finger there for a second or two, and drag and drop it on desktop three. You can see that it's now disappeared from desktop one. It isn't shut down, it's just moved to a different desktop. If I go over to desktop two, and look at the task view again, you see that my settings is now open there. And exact same if I go to desktop three, swipe in from the left hand side, you see that w the Windows story is there. And that's how simple it is to do on a touchscreen Windows 10 PC. But what if you don't have touch? Well, that's okay, I'll teach you how to do that now. So this is how you do it if you have a Windows 10 machine, but you don't have a touch screen. The steps are really quite similar. Down the bottom next to the search bar, you see the Cortana symbol, which is a little circle, and then you see your task view, which is essentially two windows in a line stacked next to it. If you select the task view, you get the exact same view of everything that you've searched earlier today, as well as all the programs that are open. At the top, you'll see that you have all your multiple desktops here, and if you wanted to create a new one, you'd simply select New Desktop, just like you would with the touch screen. If you have a trackpad on your laptop, it's just the four finger swipe to the left or the right, and that will let you swipe through all your desktops. And if you want to see all your desktops without having to press that task view, it's just the four finger swipe up, and all your desktops will appear. Cool, and it is that simple to run multiple virtual desktops on your Windows 10 PC. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and enjoy. Thanks guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.